Hello, and welcome to Silicon Valley Girls Chat Over Tea. I'm Gloria. And I'm Rosetta. And thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with us. And as we always start off our chats, we want you to be in a spirit of kindness, openness, gratitude. Listen to what we're actually saying. We're not clones. We're real girls. We have real <laughs> opinions. So please open your minds and open your hearts and go with us on this journey. Yes. Thank you for reminding us every week. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming back and joining our chats. And if you're new, thank you yes. for joining us. Welcome. welcome, welcome, welcome. And for returning supporters, we thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And just to let you know if you're new, we start off because we're girls at chat over tea. We start off by talking about teas, but we also would like you, if you like our videos, to hit the thumb icon, subscribe to our channel. We'd love that. So we can yeah. do more chats yeah. and hit the bell notification, the peace, peace bell peace notification. <laughs> so you don't miss any of our chats. Yeah. So let's get going and talk about the tea that we're drinking. And yes. today we're drinking a one that we've already drunk before, and it's from a company called Good Earth. Good Earth used to be a restaurant in the Bay Area. They closed yes. down, but they had amazing tea, oh. sweet and spicy, cinnamony. Whenever you went to the restaurant, that smell would be I wafting mean, throughout the restaurant as yes. soon as you went you, in. You would get there and you'd say, oh, you know, it's cold. I think I'm going to have some lemonade. And you would, the smell would just waft and you would go, I'll have the house tea, please. It was, it was so delicious. And they've actually revamped this tea and the packaging. And it's still called Sweet and Spicy. And I love it. The ingredients are, where are the ingredients? They're right there. Oh, they're right there. Uh, well, you can read it. <laughs> I don't see it. She goes, I don't see anything. So we have organic, uh, robust organic cinnamon, organic chicory root, organic rose hip, organic lemongrass, natural flavors, organic chamomile, organic uh, um, orange oil, organic ginger root, organic honey bush. I never heard of honey bush. No, before. I never heard of that either. Okay, organic honey bush and organic orange peel. Everything's organic. All right. So, great. We love this tea and we've been letting it see. Yep. And we mm. like to smell the tea bag before we let it see. But even the bag itself yes. smells really, really good. Really good. So we don't need to wait any longer. We're going to just drink it. Yes. And do a cheers. Cheers, cheers. everyone. Yummy. Mmm. Mm. Very good. Very and good. And you wouldn't think that, you know, being somewhere where we could hit the triple digits today, not upward 90s to 100, we'd be drinking hot tea. Well, we're dishes. in the AC room. Yes. So we're, we're clever. We have yes. AC here. Yes. And we forgot, but uh, on this tag of the tea bag, there's a little saying here. Mm. So we have to read that. Oh, that is so Mine good. says, don't depend on others to give you strength. Find it within yourself. Oh, I love that. Mine says, live with no excuses and love will, and love with no regret. Oh, I like so that. So live with no excuses and love with no regret. Perfect. <laughs> that was a little thing little, flying around. Little, little bug. Little nap bug. Go home, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, there you have it. That's how sweet and spicy. Mm. We love it. Oh, I love this. Okay, so let's get into it. As always, we like to send our thoughts and prayers to the whole world. There's so much going on in the world today that it is almost unimaginable that our world is as crazy and as chaotic. We used to say our thoughts and prayers go to the whole human race. And then we started looking at the babies because the babies need love too. So our pets, you know, our kitties, our doggies, you know. And now we're having, um, we live near the ocean where we are. We can drive like 45 minutes and we'll be at the ocean. 
And I used to always love seeing like the little sea otters and they'd lay on their little back and they'd have their little paws and oh, so they're just cute, cute and yes. sweet. And now they're attacking people. Yeah. So we are praying for the whole world to just woosaw. Every species. Yes, to just calm down and learn how to coexist because we can. You know, there's lots of shark attacks. I was watching um, one of the morning shows and there was a young girl. And you know how they always tell you to kick them in the nose? Yeah. She goes, don't do that. Because if you kick them in the nose, the mouth automatically opens and they're going to bite you. See? She says it's more to embrace them like a cuddle right. because they don't want to be touched right. and they will run away. And they don't like it when you're violent. So yes, not only not kicking them, but any, I think with any animal you come across, even mountain lions, bears, yes. Yes. they don't want violence. No, no. So try and give the shark a hug and see if it'll just go, uh-uh, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> So the first thing we're going to talk about is, you know, everyone knows about lottery fever and someone last night won the Powerball. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know that that was even oh, possible. One point something billion. It was 1.8 billion, the third largest in history. I didn't even know. I, think I that's knew that's the combined. That's the two combined is 1.8. No, they said 1.8, just the Powerball. Oh, because this morning they said like 1.02. Oh, well, I, well anyway, yeah. it's, well, it's, it's still billion. a billion it's in dollars, the billion, and it's and, 500 and, oh it's either goodness. 558 or 588 million if you cash out. That is, could you imagine? Billion, you're, that's it. You're set for life. Quit but your you know, job. There, there was a, a gentleman, and uh, that's sort of my philosophy. You know, he was like, be careful what you want, what you think you want. He goes... A billion dollars? He goes, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of responsibility. Because yeah. you have to find someone you trust to not try and take it. <laughs> well, hopefully you already have someone that you can trust, like a financial advisor that you're already using. And if not, you will be very careful and do your due diligence as yeah. to who you want to invest your money with. And I think that uh, with that, you're set for life. That's it. I think it's disgusting that California citizens, we cannot what do you go like we can't just claim the money unanimously uh, you know, Anonymous. anonymously um we that's have to we, i think that's messed up you can go anywhere else and you can win the lottery and you can just go get your money be anonymous that's right because the person that won is in southern california in yeah, a little so, market yeah so now everybody's going to know and and the little market is downtown la and the owner of the market he gets a million, a million dollars That's for a selling long. the ticket. Oh no, it's not. You sold a billion dollar ticket and you only get a million dollars. He should get like 10. Well, you know, that's not bad because when people no, don't win, when people don't win a billion, they win things like like thousands. Right. You know how much they get? It's hardly anything. It's right. Pitty. I don't even know if they get anything. And I'm sure you're going to have to I don't know if you pay taxes on that. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, so Are you, you kidding? Are right. You kidding? So you're going to pay taxes on that so you get really not much. So that happened, and now there's uh, Mega, and that one is Mega is set is uh, seventy seven hundred and twenty million. Yeah, and that's tomorrow night. Yeah, so Lotto Fever is going on. What would you do if you won that much money? Comment below. Let us know what would you do. You know, I I have my visions of what I would do. Yeah. You know, I would go after homelessness. I would go after our children. I think it's deplorable that. Some individual, no disrespect to your blessing, sir, some individual is going to walk away with a billion dollars. And this was supposed to improve the quality of our schools, of our schools in California. And it has become a gambling fiasco to me because the schools are not getting better. In fact, they're closing schools and they've taken public education to a profit with these charter schools. It's just a big mess. Right, because in Oakland, I know they close a few schools. A lot of schools. And then it's really sad because the kids have to be now bused to some other schools. Yeah. For what they used to be known as their own schools with yes, their own, own friends, neighborhoods. neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. So what would you do? Tell us, because we want to know. Well, I got my wish, <laughs> the bachelorette. I got my wish. She sent Brayton home. <laughs> I got, that was my wish as well. That was yeah. both our wishes. I was getting a bit nervous there because, you know, they show you what they want you to see 
and you think that she's going to keep him yes. for longer again. again. But he comes back for all of you. Have you been watching? What did you think about him coming? I didn't understand the reason why he came back because he came back, made a big scene in the limo. He never even got to talk to her. Yeah. All the guys were saying, you better go home now, close the doors and go, yes, go, go, you know, go, pump, limo. Pump the gas, yes. you know, out of here. And then they say, you know, he's gone. But you know, the bad thing is that all of that interrupted the guy's opportunity to spend time with to her. To do more one on one so And it was going from nine to six. So That's what I didn't understand. Three guys there was a lot of home. guys going home. And I really got upset because the Asian guy, what's his name? Yeah, John. John. Yes. I, you know, sorry being Asian here. I always have to talk about my Asian peeps here. <laughs> because have you noticed that hardly any Asians get to the final three, four, or five? They always right. they either get sent home very early on or they stay right. a bit like John and then they get left. Well, I mean, they get uh, kicked out. Yeah, well, that, that also happens to, you know, minority girls. They'll start out, you know, there was one season where the mom told the bachelor, she goes, I really like her. He sent her home the next week, you know. Um, Charity, because she's a black girl, um, she's in a position where she, she's running the show. However... She kept saying things like, if I find out that that's what Brayton's doing, he can, you know, I'll rip that off of his chest and blah, blah, blah. And none of that happened. So I'm like, you know what? Um, it's going to be interesting because, what is his name? I like uh, I like Joey. I think her and Joey have a, a good connection. No, which one is Joey? Joey's the one that, um, he's got uh, kind of curly hair. He's the one that, um, when they were writing the, the the poems, or remember when they did that, he's the one that won the, the kiss. Oh, okay, okay yes, so yes, Kim, yes. Uh, Aaron, of course. Aaron is I like, like her little protection. And I am really, I mean, I think she likes, uh, what Dalton. is it? The most. Dalton she the most. She showed him her baby picture. You don't show people that you're going to kick to the curb your history. You know, and then they did that bungee, that backward bungee twice. Yes. So. It seems like they're growing closer and closer. They are. Yeah, but I'm just so happy that Brayden is gone, I gone, gone. Yes. And. Um, good riddance. That was, that was a good decision to kick him out. Yeah, too he much was negativity. Just, yeah, all around bad. So uh, we're finally approaching DJ. Barbie is Friday. So we only have one more day, and then people can go and see the movie. They are just out of control. Isn't it out? Oh, yes, tomorrow's out. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah, there's a lot of people who want to see it. Yes. So it's going to be really, really interesting. And then last Wednesday, they started the new Mission Impossible. And so my girl went to see it. And you don't have to give us details because I haven't seen it either. But did you like it? I loved it. It was so good. I'm telling you, it's two parts right the first part is nearly three hours so yeah. just beware if you haven't seen it it's three hours and then the other one i think the other one the second part they had to put a halt to it they haven't finished filming it but you know what's really nice about the second one mm. they brought in a character that i love i love this lady her name is Haley atwell okay and she plays grace on the show and she's kind of like his sidekick kind of thing but she, I remember her from other Marvel and also she had her own show called Agent Carter oh, so I don't okay. know if you know Agent Carter but uh, she played a detective in Agent Carter and I was sad that that went off air oh, but okay. I really like her and this this film is is not only is it very um, eventful but it's Nell biting gripping yes i hear the action is amazing the action yes my sister's husband she was like he goes it's all right and she goes you were like running your little feet in the seat and he goes yeah but now we have to wait months before i get to see part two so he was well, he was like it may I'm, not even be months it may be a year or so absolutely we don't know when but i I've, I've only heard good things about it so Congratulations, Tom Cruise, you, you're doing it again. So what you should do, folks, real quick tip, if you haven't seen it, go and see it, and then go home and do some YouTubing and watch the premieres and the interviews with all the actors and actresses 
because you've seen it and you'll have a better understanding of and who you'll they really are. enjoy or the the actual um red carpet was actually in Rome where they filmed it right on the steps so watch the film and then watch that excellent really good so have you heard about a lot a young lady named Carly Russell have you no <laughs> well I just heard about this yesterday someone told me and then today it came up on Good Morning America and I'm like oh wow now this is the woman that Yes, so this okay. woman... I think I know, but okay. I'm going to so listen. So this woman, she's from Alabama. Yes. And she claims, she claims that she was abducted for two days. And how it happened was, she's saying that while she was trying, she was on the highway. Right, driving And she home. saw a, a, a stroller or something. Well, I thought she said she saw a toddler. A toddler or something. Yeah. And she got out. And wanted to help the toddler, mm -hmm. and she was. And, and she then called nine one one. She called nine one one, but then she says her claim is that she was following the toddler or something, and was led into some bushes, and some man abducted her. And this is for two days, and she said that uh, what was it? I have it. Uh, let me see. Without getting caught, she says. Uh, let me see. I've written it down here. She said that. There was another woman involved as well, but she never saw the woman. She went from car to car. I don't understand right. that. She was abducted and went from car to car, and then she knew there was a woman involved. But the thing is, her disappearance is the police said there's no evidence to back up her claim. Right. They, they found her car running. Her purse was inside the car. The only thing that was missing was her cell phone. And you know, they can now ping phones whether they're on or off especially iPhones, just so you're aware. Uh, your iPhone can be dead, and if you've got an iPhone 14, it can still make an emergency call. So apparently the police can't verify they what said she's that saying. What they said that they went through her phone records and noticed that she'd been Googling certain things like, yes. you have to pay for an Amber Alert search. Yes. Uh, a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville she googled the movie taken and uh, she she was unable to, to corroborate her story with them mm -hmm. and um oh this is it the man forced her into multiple vehicles and a woman was involved and she had previously researched how to take money from a register without getting caught so it's kind of suspect so she did actually take money out of a register without getting caught but that was in a job, and the guy, the owner of that business said that if she took money out of my register, I'm gonna to have to file charges on her. Absolutely. So nobody really understands how, why, but they spent a lot of time and resources taken out of that, that kind of time and resource, they could have been helping someone else. Because exactly. have you noticed that a lot of colored people that get abducted or go missing, nobody does anything about them. Right, especially when little yeah, especially little black kids, it, it, it's like nothing is ever done or said. And, you know, people of color have a more difficult time when it comes to getting the same level of support that a Caucasian person experiences. A little blonde hair, blue eyed baby disappears. Oh my God, the sirens go off. A little, you know, even, you know, Puerto Rican, Mexican, you know, Italian, uh, black, anybody with caramel skin, you know, the people in their community are upset. It just doesn't go global. Right, like right. If it's and remember else. the couple, the, the, the woman and the man, the young two, two yes. young adults that were traveling and journaling their yes. stuff through Utah yes. and Arizona. Yes. You know how much that that got so much publicity and they even yeah. did like a movie oh, yeah. of that, right? And yeah. then here you see some colored person going missing, nothing, you don't hear anything. Yeah. But as I was saying, she wasted time and resources from people and it nobody can really understand really what happened and why she did it. Yeah. But if you know, Comment or you have below. inside scoop as to why she did it, yes, we'd like to hear about that. Comment below. So I'm sure you, you, you 
everybody knows that our United States Supreme Court justices are out of control. They're as bad as the Republican Party. I understand that you can have an affinity to a party. However, your job is to stay neutral. It is not for you to want to put your thoughts or your process. So last week, once again, they signed into law. We have had the ability for people of color to get a little leg up when it came to going to Ivory League colleges because your life experience is completely different from a non-person of color's life experience. And they just came out with a new law, once again, that schools can no longer set limits on the use of race as a factor for you know, a college to make a decision whether you can come to Harvard or to Stanford or not. Whereas in the past, that was just a little, it just kind of leveled the playing field. And what they're saying, which I thought was just hysterical, they're saying that young Chinese people uh, feel that they are not get, being given a fair opportunity because they're too busy trying to put the blacks and the brown people into schools. And it's like, you know, that just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense because no. As Chinese myself, I believe that we get a, we're actually treated quite well yeah. in regards to being accepted into colleges and universities. Yeah. So I don't know where this is coming from. And I think that I like the fact that I want more children or students of color to yes. be able to go to college and have a higher percentage more than the past. <coughs> to be able to go into college. Absolutely. Because, you you know, some of these uh, children, they're the first of their generation, generation or the yes. whole family because no one ever went. Yeah, and, and that's why you want to do it. You want to make it as inclusive as possible. So, Supreme Court justices, you should look at the bylaws of what you're supposed to be doing, not what you're doing, because you're not really doing the right thing right now. And you know... The president can add some more people to make it fair. We're going to add more justices. I just think it's sad. It, it's really sad. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's a young boy. His name is Huntley Daniels. He's 10 years old. He's on a carnival ride. The ride is called Moby Dick, and it was at the Taste of Summer uh, Festival in Antioch, Illinois. So the little boy is on the ride and all of a sudden he is just tossed off the ride into the air. Now remember last week we talked to you a little bit about there was a crack in the Carowinds Amusement Park. There was a ride called the Furry 325. I don't know if I'd let my child ride a ride right so now. So these are <coughs> like temporary oh, yeah. rides that are just put up and taken down after the extended whatever period of time they're there for. Yeah, I don't think that I would ride it, and I don't think it's that safe. No. I don't mind going to amusement parks that are there, like put there for good. And they and they check them weekly. Consistently. These yeah. makeshift like that go up these fairs, I mean, it's scary, I'm telling you, and you can see why. Yeah. Well, Gloria said. So what yeah. happened to this boy? He's in the hospital. It's crazy. I mean, you can't be flung a, an off of a ride into I'm, the I'm air. I'm just and wondering how fall. he got flung off. Maybe because the harness or something that was bolting him in or strapped right. him in came loose or something. And it was so jolty that he just went flying out. I was on a ride when I was a, a, a young girl. It was, called, it was Six Flags Over Texas. And it was called The Last Train to the Cave Mine. And so the, the roller coaster is doing the thing where it goes up like that. It goes really high and right. then it goes down. Right. When it went down, the bar wasn't latched and the bar went forward. <gasps> the girl and I that were on the ride, we thought we were going to die. <gasps> we held on to that bar for dear life. And when the ride stopped, we were like, we were so upset. And we were trying to tell them it never latched. So these things can happen. We're just saying... Before you put your child on a ride, just take a little moment and have a quick look and make sure all is well. 
Well, you sometimes can't tell because all right. looks well when you're getting on it, and all of a sudden, when you, it's the motion and the friction and Absolutely. the force and everything forces it out of its socket or whatever. So, to me, I'll be like, let's pass this. I'll stay on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we wanted to give you an update. Remember, we talked to you about the Ruby Princess cruise. It was delayed three days because uh, when it was being docked, it hit the dock. Right. Um, so, what ended up is 579 of the passengers that were, you know, scheduled to go to Alaska after they had the hole, they decided, no thank you, they stayed here. Now, what they did to compensate is, the it's normally a 10-day cruise because you go to Alaska and you do multiple stops. stops. Uh, they did one stop in Ketchikan, and then they went to Prince Rupert, Canada, and back home. It was only seven days. Okay. It was fast. So, guests had an option. If they wanted to, they could get off the ship. They would get 100% return of their money, and they would get 50% credit toward a future cruise. If they got off and said, I'm done. Right. I'm too scared. You don't even want to I don't want deal with the this. cruise, right? Passengers who chose to continue on the trip, they received a 75% refund of what they paid for right. the cruise and 75% for a future cruise. So that's how it ended up. Some people stayed and they went. I haven't seen anybody yet that said it was great because. The best part of being on the cruise ship is going to multiple locations. Your phones don't work, so people can't bug you. You know. But I think that it's also to do with, for me anyway, I like it because I like the whole being on the cruise, right. not having to worry about where I'm going to get my next meal Thank from. Thank you, not having to do the dishes. The activities, yes. <laughs> you pack, you unpack once, you pack once, yes. and everything is there on the ship for you. That's what yes. I like. Even though if, if I was had the choice I would right. stick with it because right might as well right yeah as long as the hole was above the water level I'm good you know that that would be but fine. some people would have thought well you never know right oh I know um, we all have seen the movie the Titanic so a lot of people were like okay I'm done but that's fine because they got uh, a refund yeah a hundred percent and then what 50 percent towards another yeah cruise? it's all good so we just wanted to give you an update and last week we talked about briefly about Meta, which most of us know as Facebook. They launched a new app called Threads and it's going in direct competition with Twitter. So of course, Elon Musk is going to sue them for doing that because they have like a little arrow thing that looks like the little arrow thing on Twitter. Whatever. I thought it looked like a, um, like an app sign. The, the actual threads and right. like an app oh, yeah. sign. Oh, it has lots of app signs, but um, this is when you're typing the message. You know how they have the little characters? And one of the characters looks something like what the one on Twitter looks oh, like. Oh, okay. So I'm like, whatever. I, know. I, I actually decided to download the app, but I haven't logged in. I haven't signed on, no password. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know, because I, I didn't even use Twitter when I had it. Right. So I'm not... I. I'm not you a big know fan. Yet. I don't know, and I I don't really know what I'm going to tweet anyway. Not yes. I don't even know. It's not called tweeting. It's no, called, called threading. 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 Yes. I don't know what I'm going to thread. So when we shared this with you last week, uh, Mark Zuckerberg was excited because they had 10 million people sign up for it. Well, as of now, they're up to 109 million subscribers. Of well, threads. there's a lot of it went up. However, I've been hearing on the radio mm -hmm. when I listen to the radio stations, they've been saying that the host or whoever's talking saying that they signed up, they have Twitter and they have Thread. Right. These are the young hosts, right? And they're right. saying that I was all excited when I started, but now I don't even use Thread. Yeah, and that's what they're trying to fix because some people are saying, "Well, I don't like that it doesn't do this." So they just pushed a new uh, release update today. So we'll see if that turns people back around. Because I've heard, you know, both. I've heard some people say I tried it and eh, I like Instagram. Um, I'm good. I'll just well, go back to Instagram. Well, they'll stick with Twitter or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are you using? Have you tried it? No, Tell I us. think I'll stick to my Instagram and Facebook. There you go. <laughs> 
So we talk a lot about global warming. You know, it is not just bad weather. The weather patterns have been just uh, amazing. Uh, here in California, we have been going through a little bit of a heat wave. And the heat wave is all along the bottom, Colorado, Texas, uh, Georgia, and then and all the way up the coast on the other side, on the west, I mean, on the east coast to New York, New Jersey. I mean, places where they don't get very hot, at least not yet. Everybody gets hot, but you don't usually get hot until the end of July, not this early in the month. And people are in triple digits. Um, Texas has been in triple digits for 38 days. Wow. Colorado has been in triple digits for 18 days, and they're continuing to grow. And this is causing the sea, ocean seas to heat up as well, because in yes. Florida, it's in the upper 90s. Yes, the in the water. It's yes, like getting in into water. a bathtub. I mean, it's, it's a, uh, hotter than a sauna. Yeah. So in addition to this, we're also starting to hear about, in the center of the country, rain. You know, like three inches of rain in an hour. Just ridiculous. I mean, you see cars, and people are like, we're driving down the street. We think everything's good. Yeah, you see a little water, but you have no idea that that's not a little bit of water. That's a lot of water. So you see cars just floating up to the roof line. And we have fires. It's crazy if you didn't believe that this is all. You don't believe global warming. Now, now this is something that we have to think about. There's all these fires happening in Greece. Yes. It's multiple fires. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. And we don't really hear fires happening right. outside of the U.S., right? Right. Canada had some, see? In May, Canada's had those fires. Right. And then in um, the East east Coast, you could see all the after effects yeah, of it. Yeah, some place right yeah. now, there are, I mean, I don't know if it's from Greece, because I don't know where Greece is, where the, like, the smoke would arrive. But they're starting to tell us here in California, you know, you might have to just be careful, you know, like myself. You see me coughing. You like my coughs that I've been sharing with you? That's from my allergies. So I'm like, maybe I should start wearing a mask, especially if there's going to be smoke coming back into California. Luckily, we're not having, you know, dangerous fires. Yeah, we don't right have now. it this season, which is weird because usually we have for sure almost always have some kinds of yeah. fire happening. So it's a but, blessing that we don't. But now Greece has it, and it's it's really bad because it's burning down like small little towns there. Yes outside of Athens, yes. they're not getting any help because they're the, the firefighters are dealing with like the bigger cities. Right. So they're losing everything. So if you didn't think this is global warming, what is it? Yeah. We've been telling you way back when, I probably think like yeah. two, three years ago, we've oh, been talking about global warming. We've talked about what it is, why we need to be aware of it, and what can we do right now as humans every day that we can help reverse this whole thing. Right now, I think right. it's kind of, we can still do our part, but a lot of damage has already been done. Absolutely. So we need to start now to be more aware and to get everyone get going, take action, not just yes. talk about it. Yes, because this is something that I, you know, Rosetta and I both, we believe we can stop and turn around. We just have to look at what we're doing that's causing the emission levels to go up. Like, I don't think any rocket should be allowed in the sky for luxury touring. I think they should be suspended right now. Right. I think we should keep the air as clean and as pure as we well, can Well, you get know it. now, if you go on the, if you go on websites and look for airplane flights, right. they actually say, because I was on Southwest, how much emission it's going to give off. And they never used to do that. No. So you're a bit more conscious. If I fly this plane, this right. is how much it's going to give off as opposed to another airline. And there's also, just be aware, when you get on the planes, if you're sitting in your seat, keep your seatbelt on, the turbulence that they're experiencing because of the different wind fluctuations has been pretty, pretty severe. You know, so just, you know, as you know better, do better. That's what exactly. we hope and wish for you. Exactly. So it's time for our tips of the day. So, you know, we've been spending a lot of time, like we just got through talking about global warming. It is hot outside. You have to protect your skin. 
Now, I have a mineral bronzer that I have, that I sell that my customers dust on their arms, their face, they don't feel like wearing makeup because it's hot and they're like, I'm just gonna sweat it off. Put it on your shoulders, your decollete, your legs, anywhere direct sun is gonna hit. Then with my magic setting spray, the Ancient Elixir, you spray it and until you rub it off, it will stay to protect your skin. It's very important that you find something that has UV sun protection built in it, inert. I use titanium dioxide. It is white. It is a natural reflector. It is the strongest reflector on the planet for reflecting light. And it will actually protect you against the UVA and UVB rays. Absolutely. So that's what you have to do is find something. And, you know, I would love for you to buy my products. However, wherever you are, there should be good, clean products. There should be some place. And if you're in doubt, go to Google and say, I want healthy, clean Or products. you can go to a website called ewg.org and it will tell you because the Environmental Working Group, they test all of those. Right. And even I think the new app that we learned about today, Yuka. Yuka. Y U K A will actually tell you as well <coughs> which ones are good and which ones are not good. Yes. And what I like is that you know Hawaii has banned yes. all sunscreens except mineral. You're only allowed yes. to use mineral sunscreens in Hawaii. Because what happened is all these people were coming with all this sunscreen jumping in the water, and it was not good for the water, it was not good for the fish. So they're like, okay, we're not gonna allow it anymore. So just be a little bit more aware. And if you're like, well, I don't like that. Okay, buy a floppy hat. Get a big hat to shield your skin. Big rimmed hat. Yeah. Yes, your face is the most important thing. Shield your skin. We promise you, um, you will age better. You will age to perfection if you just take care and give your skin a little extra protection. Exactly, I love that. All right. Next. Okay, next, it's my turn and my health tip today is, did you know that as I'm a health coach, it's not all about what we put inside our bodies, right? Yes, it is, a big majority of it, but did you know that when I'm doing my health coaching, I also talk about positive vibes and how to relieve stress. Yes. Okay, it's so important because we don't want the bad hormones to build up in our body, which is called cortisone. Our body can handle a little bit of stress, but over time, if it's not dealt with, then it turns into chronic stress. Yes. And that causes chronic illnesses and future health problems. So I'm gonna give you a little tip on how to quickly relieve stress and have positive vibes all yes. over. Yes. So I say a tip is what you can do is take your camera, and take pictures of beautiful things. Things that when you look at it, make you smile. Yes. And have it in your camera or as a wallpaper. Nice. And whenever you're feeling stressed uh, or you need some kind of pick me up, take the camera around and look at that picture. And that's an instant, instant mood change. You'll put a smile to your face nice. and you'll be uplifted and you'll feel good or you can Find nice. a video and save that video. Nice. So that's my tip to know that you're stressed, need some positive vibes, yes. and quickly you can do that easily. Yes. So that's my health tip of the day. Yes. We can all use a little woo-saw. Yes. Just woo-saw. So once again, thank you so much for the opportunity to share our little insight with you. We are always looking to be a conscious set of women, a conscious mindset, a conscious thought process, because there's so much chaos out in the world. We hope you get an opportunity to just hang out with us a little bit. We feel the love in this room. We accept it and we send it back to you. Yep. Overflowing. Yes. And we are so yes. grateful yes. to hang out with you. And we're so grateful and we want to remind you that we would love it. Please, 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 if you could hit that thumb icon. Hit the thumb icon, everyone, so we know you've watched and you like it. 
if you haven't already subscribed to our channel yeah. and you can hit the bell notification that just means that you'll be the first to watch our chats yes. once it's ready for you to watch yes so thank you so much we love you again and we are silicon valley girls chat over tea and, and remember, remember to always keep smiling bye-bye